bad girl, make you want to be based now. Nah, nah. Give me that thing where I go, feel me late now. Nah, nah. The way you back it up, the way you bust in the place now. Nah, nah, nah. oh, yeah. Very on time, girl, yeah. don't be late now. Nah, nah. Said I'm in love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, Tony Olaoye. And if it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. Guys, I feel like <laughs> this type of curls are slept on. Even me, like typically I curl my hair straight or if I put curls in my hair, it's usually like big curls, like big loose wave or body wave curls. But these type curls though, these type curls though, I deserve some accolades bro today's video is a DIY lace wig transformation video I'm going to be showing you guys how I was able to transform my black wow African wig into this lovely fiery copper gingerish reddish beautiful hair it took me a while it took me a while to get this color like I had to try it twice but I am overall pleased with this hair so my hair is from Wow African Hair all the information you need is going to be right down below in the description bar so make sure you check that out and if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for sis you don't want to miss all of this you know all of this awesomeness if I may say so myself so please make sure you click on that subscribe button right down below and also turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me okay so yes, beginning, starting off, the wig I'm using today is from Wild African Hair and it came in this black box that says Professional Hair Beauty Plaza. I'm going to go ahead and open the box and in it comes this satin pink wrap, um, two wig caps and the wig itself and it came in this plastic bag that says 20 inches and the item number. The wig is a 360 lace wig that comes with three combs in the front, one at the back and two elastic straps at the back as well for you to adjust. I'm going to take my powder bleach, my BW2 powder bleach and I'm going to take my high test 40 volume developer and I'm going to mix both these products together so that I can lift the color of my hair. So I'm going to try to turn it from black to brown. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in some powder bleach and I'm going to mix the developer together. You want to have a nice consistency and you can also go ahead to add some more developer if it's too thick so after mixing your bleach this is what you want your consistency to look like so back to the wig I'm going to go ahead and you know just section off pieces of the hair so that it does not get in the way of the bleaching process so after clipping off that big section I'm going to go back to the smaller section and just start applying the mixture generously throughout the whole hair I'm using gloves because you have to protect your fingers from the harsh chemicals and I'm also using the brush and you guys can see like it's already turning brown this hair processes so fast and that is a sign of good quality hair as well once I finished the application the hair was already brown enough but I decided to leave it for a little bit longer so I'm going to leave it for five minutes then I am going to go ahead and shampoo condition and blow dry my hair and I actually really like the color like this I was so tempted to just wear this hair like this so i decided to actually go a little bit more on the red side i really love the texture of the hair so i'm going to use the dark and lovely fade resist um permanent hair color and in the box comes a bottle of cream developer like this it comes the actual hair color and it also has a tube of conditioner as well which i ended up throwing away to be honest so these are the three things that come in the box so right now i'm just going to go ahead and read the instructions take off the gloves from the instructions as well then what the instructions told me to do was take this small bottle or the smaller bottle and pour it into the cream developer bottle once i do this i'm then going to cover it up and actually mix it together by shaking it and putting my thumb on top of the cover like so so it does not spill anywhere Back to the wig, I'm going to just section the hair into four different sections and take the smaller piece of the second section and just take the bottle with the hair color and just pour this everywhere on the hair, you know, using my fingers, using a comb to comb through the hair color and making sure it's distributed evenly throughout the whole hair. I'm just going to go ahead and do this step all over the wig. So if you guys notice, right, 
the hair actually starts turning purple well not the hair the hair color of Misha starts turning purple and at this point I'm a little bit worried but it's cool it's normal I'm going to go ahead and just leave this for a good 20 seconds and I'm going to go ahead, I mean 20 minutes then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo condition and customize my frontal so right now my wig is dry and I'm going to just take my comb to just section off the very front baby hairs of my frontal then i'm going to go in with a pair of tweezers and just start plucking the frontal you know in random places but making sure i'm not going too far back so i'm keeping my hand to about half an inch of my frontal now i'm just going to point out and say that this particular step takes a lot of practice i'm not even half as good as i want to be with my frontals but it took me a while to get to this stage to learn how to actually sort of pluck my frontal in a way that looks nice so as you guys can see there is a clear difference between this side and this side you can see how much plucking i've been able to do even by just looking at it right now you can see that the left side on your screen is more plucks the hairline looks a little bit more natural so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the exact same step on the other half of the frontal At this point, this is what the frontal looks like after I have plucked it and I do not need to do any extra baby hairs because it looks natural enough. Well, anyways, that is my opinion. It looks natural enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace and install this onto my head. Right now, when I adjust it, this is what it looks like and I'm going to just take my got to be hair gel. I apply this to the perimeter of my head and I know that the wig is a little bit big for me so I'm going to cut off the excess as well like just the excess tiny tip right there close to my ears so I'm just going to let you guys watch this part how I cut off the excess lace so right now I'm just going to use my blow dryer to just make my gut to be hair gel a little bit more tacky and I'm going to go ahead and pull on the lace frontal and just stick it on downwards and use my blow dryer to blow dry it again to make sure it's nice and secure and dry so next step is for me to take my bio seal care serum and apply this all over my wig this actually saves your hair from getting damaged from the heat and just makes your hair nice and silky and smooth so i'm going to go ahead and section my hair into smaller sections as well and just go in with my remington hair straightener and straighten my whole wig So after straightening my hair, I'm going to go ahead and make a center part right down the middle of my lace frontal. And I'm going to take my hair mousse and just apply this onto the flyaways and just to sort of press down the frontal as well. As you guys can see, the hair is a little bit, you know, doing hallelujah. So I'm just going to go ahead and press it down. Then I'm going to take my straightener and just go over it again to make it just a little bit more flat. And I'm using my spray got to be hair gel as well. On those turban flyaways and I'm just going to use my comb to comb through the hair products as well okay so we are done with this first process and this is what the wig looks like I'm just going to go ahead and apply some powder to just customize the frontal a little bit more as well so after wearing this wig for a few days I went to the gym to school it was raining so this wig went through a lot for a few days but I decided to change the color and go a little bit more on the orange and deeper red side you know it's kind of like a deep bright copper shade this shade right now is nice I really like it but it's not just bright enough for me yet so what I'm going to do is actually bleach my frontal that's the first step as you guys can see I've worn this wig for like a week at this point and on my frontal there is actually uh, a color stain from my previous coloring process which is fine I'm just going to go ahead and bleach the other parts of the frontal I'm going to take my Igora powder bleach and my Igora 40 volume developer as well and just take just a little bit of the powder bleach and just a little bit of the developer and I'm going to mix it into a thick consistency kind of like toothpaste and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my what's it called all over my frontal well on the parts that don't have the orange color stain what happens is if your bleach touches the orange stain it's actually going to bleach that orange stain so it's going to be brighter you're just going to have like a very very bright orange shade in the middle of your frontal and we don't want that so it's better to just leave it like this so 20 minutes later after shampooing and conditioning i am going to take my what's it called my dark and lovely 
Go Intense Ultra Vibrant Color on Dark Hair. And this actually has a color booster. So, and this is the color booster. This is what it looks like. It's just some orange hair color, which I feel would give me that nice orangish reddish tone that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same step. I'm going to put the develop. Actually, I'm going to put the co two colors into the developer and I'm going to shake it like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this generously throughout my hair. And as you guys can see, it's coming out as a brown paste this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my comb to just even out the color distribution on the hair. And I'm going to repeat the same process throughout the wig as well. Oh, by the way, guys, if you like this wig so far, I have a 10% discount code for you guys use the code tony at checkout on wow african it kind of freaks me out that my hair was turning purple but like it did that before so it's okay i'm gonna go ahead and shampoo and condition my wig and this is the new color as you guys can see it's obviously more vibrant it has more orange and red tones in it and i love it love it love it next step is for me to just glue it down in my gut to be like i did before and i'm going to just tie it off with a pair of random stockings since the wig was looking you to be higgy haga, I decided to brush it out and as you guys can see, the hair is not even shedding. I'm going to take my smaller curling wand and my bio silk and some hip protect serum and apply this to the smaller sections of my wig. Then I'm going to just take my curling wand and pretty much curl my whole wig. It took me about an hour to curl this whole wig and I was watching TV shows and doing the most but finally when everything was done... I'm just going to go ahead and clip it out of my face so I can go do my makeup. And I'm clipping it backwards. This is important if you want the front of your hair to actually stand. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the stocking that is on the edge of my hairline. And as you guys can see, the lace frontal is nice, dry, and secure onto my head. And this is what it looks like pretty much after I have done all the curls. Next step is to just take a big comb and just comb through all the curls until I feel like I have achieved my desired hairstyle. Also, you want to play around with the hair. You want to run your fingers through the hair. You want to swoop it from one side to the other and just frame it to your face. So pretty much after turning my hair into a center part, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of my face powder onto the front part of my frontal. I am also going to apply it to the center part as well. And that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time guys, peace.